right, we're here at Mountain View High School, and I'm with head coach Mike Cartwright of the Mountain View Boys tennis team, and you guys are fresh off a state championship. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, it was our uh, fourth uh, state title overall, but our first in the last 10 years. We had one since 2005, so it was really nice to get it done this year. We were the number one seed, and a lot of pressure goes along with that. But the, the guys played great, and our depth really demonstrated our, our success or helped lead us to our success. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the key players in this year's state championship? Well, we had a lot of, of contributions from all 13 of our players, but, but these two guys behind us um, really contributed significantly. These are the Alex brothers. Um, they came here just over a year and a half ago from Greece, and they've been great players in our program. This year, Abe switched from singles to doubles, and he played first doubles for us and was undefeated in the state tournament. And then Petro moved from doubles last year into singles this year, and he was our winning point against Elk River at the four single spot. I'm Abraham Alexopoulos. This is Petro Alexopoulos. And um, I'm a 12th grader. He's an 8th grader. He's going into 9th grade. And you guys, I guess, were key contributors to the state championship. Tell us a little bit about your experience, and I'll start with you. It was a big moment. I won all three of my matches in the tournament, and uh, it was just huge to come through with those. Yeah, I won the last match, the deciding match. It was a big moment. There's a lot of people there. I won it for the team, so it was a great moment. What is it like playing for your coach, and what does he do that makes you guys so successful and make it a really enjoyable experience? We just we like to have fun in practice, but we also like to be serious. I mean, we play a lot of matches in practice, and we, we're a good team. We like to uplift one another a lot. Uh, how long have you guys been playing tennis? I've been playing tennis for my whole life. My mom was a professional tennis player and she taught me how to play, she taught him how to play, she teaches my whole family how to play. So you guys have had a lot of experience one-on-one. Yeah. -on -one. Who wins that bout and if so, what's it like in that household? I'll let him answer that question. Uh, we haven't played in a while, but last time he won, so. What was the score last time? It was pretty close. Pretty close. Yeah. It was like 0-0, yeah. but. Okay. Yeah. Okay, a little bit of a rivalry. He tries, he tries to get some games off me. All right, well, congratulations, you guys. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a little bit of a tennis yeah. amateur myself. You know, I, I dabble here and there. I never got to play in high school. My school was too small, so we didn't have it. So I think this is my one shot right here. Let's I get play. Playing with the, uh, with the, how do you say your last name again? Alexopoulos. All right, I'm going to take my not versus Alexopoulos. Perfect. See what can happen. Great. Great All right, give me a racket. As a coach, what do you have? Uh, your, what do you find the most important things for your players to focus on? Just really taking care of the next point and focusing on the next point, and, and not uh, losing sight of the fact that they, uh, of distractions going on around them, what's going on on other courts, you know, what their opponent's doing. Just focusing on what they need to do to play the best they can on the next point. What is uh, what's the forecast looking like for next season? Well, we're graduating seven of our thirteen. Um, tennis players on varsity, but we've, the six that are coming back are awfully talented. So, you know, if we can fill in the, the voids that the seniors are leaving behind, then, you know, we should be competitive again. All right. Thanks, Coach. Mike Carr right here. Congratulations again. Thank you.